A few weeks ago, Vice held a panel discussion with young Asian Americans. Um, and here's how they describe the point and theme of the conversation. What does it mean to be Asian in America? From hate crimes to the model minority myth to affirmative action, a politically divisive panel hashes out the most controversial issues facing the AAPI community today. Now, this is the kind of discussion, especially when hosted by an outlet like Vice, that is nearly certain to be excruciatingly boring and annoying. It's already guaranteed that the panel will be stacked with leftists, and leftists are ideologically required to never say anything remotely interesting, especially when the subject has anything to do with race or ethnicity. But fortunately for the viewers, there was at least one young man who managed to make it onto the panel despite having a mind of his own. Uh, a Twitter user named Caleb posted a, a couple of videos featuring this man. Vince is his name. And his contributions to the conversation are, are quite interesting. The clips are revealing and instructive and also kind of hilarious, not because of what Vince says. I mean, what he says is, is, is good and is correct, uh, but there's, there's nothing hilarious about saying something that's true. What makes it funny is because of how the other people on the panel react to him saying those things. So I see clips. I didn't get to watch it, though. Assimilation. Is it a good thing? Is it a bad thing? Is, is it a burden? Is it an opportunity? I think assimilation is not just a great thing, it's a necessary thing. Huh. No society can- Hold on, let me, f let me find out what the definition of assimilation is real quick. Assimilation, the process of taking in and fully understanding information or ideas. So it's, it's just learning. <laughs> an opportunity. I think assimilation is not just a great thing, it's a necessary thing. Huh. No society can hold together where people have nothing in common, they don't speak the same language, they don't practice the same things. And, you know, you may look at something like just food habits or what you eat and think that's fairly frivolous, but the truth of the matter is that on a broader level, when we're talking about more big picture things, differences in race, culture, religion, all these things, the, people have fought wars, violent wars, killed each other over these things for thousands of years if America is to hold together assimilation, not just good or bad, necessary. I don't think it's going to be possible for America to survive as a stable functioning society if people don't, to some degree, say, well, here's what we're going to commonly agree upon. But who gets to choose it? That makes sense. The majority culture, I suppose. And what's the people, majority culture? The people with power. And who's people with power? Who's people with power. White people. Well, I don't, I don't know I'm if that's... I'm going to say it. Yeah. White people. It's okay. I don't know if that's necessarily so true. I mean, Wait, can you, you look at, yeah. I don't, Let's I, don't elaborate. Think, I don't think a particularly white quote unquote interest controls things like in America. pop culture. Do you believe well, white think, supremacy exists? I think there are people who believe in it. And I think there's people who all believe that their race is superior. So you don't believe in white supremacy? Do you believe well, America is a white supremacist race. state? No, hmm. not at all. And not found no white supremacist state would even like allow us to be doing this. Yeah, like, that's honestly. <laughs> so white supremacist, there's just KKK people walking. I mean, Actually, I go around New York City. I notice that like I guess Brooklyn a little bit different. Most of the people here are not white, and they're doing their thing. So I don't. Understand what does doing their thing mean to you? Going to work. Are they making? Working. Are they making the same amount of money? They are trying so hard to get him to trip up. That, that he he held his own, bro. That was I, I fuck with that. I gotta say, I like this Vince guy. I mean, I like him for all the reasons that everyone else on the panel is shocked and horrified by him. First of all, his point about assimilation is obviously correct. A nation must be bound together, united by more than just the simple fact that all of its people exist inside the same geographical boundary. And that's even more the case today when the geographical boundary is so porous and apparently, according to this administration, negotiable. We, we so we have to have something else holding us together. To be a people, not just people, but to be a people... We must have a shared culture, shared values, shared traditions, a shared language. Without those things, you end up with uh, fracturing and division. And that leads to violence and that leads to chaos and dysfunction. I get how language is like needed for us to be a function in society because like, duh. But why is why does culture and what else did he say? Uh, something tradition why 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 do those two things matter for us to thrive as a country i feel like since the beginning of america we've had people that celebrate christmas and people that celebrate hanukkah or people that believe in god or people that don't believe in god like i feel like your own beliefs i don't know i don't know because beliefs really do function into how laws are made and shaped so i i don't know i just i just don't see how Someone's culture or tradition could hold us back as a country, but maybe I'm just being optimistic about the shit. All of which we're experiencing today. Of course, everyone else in the room is offended by this notion, mostly because they're conditioned to be offended by it. These are automatons operating based on their programming. That's also why the obnoxious CPUs, girl in the front row has purple hair. You know, she can't help but become NPCs. a parody of herself. 
It's like, why do these, these obnoxious liberal women, they, why, do, why even do the purple hair anymore? You, you're, you're bec- you are willingly making yourself into a stereotype, into one of the most mocked stereotypes in existence right now. You are saying, I'm going to be that person. It's not mocked on but their side, though. And she is aghast that Vince would suggest assimilating with the majority culture because she claims the majority culture is white. And she sees white as automatically bad, and she holds this view even while telling herself that she is not the racist one. She, along with her, uh, along with her leftist cohorts, are, are also scandalized that Vince will uh, not label America a white supremacist state. But as he points out, if America was run by violent white supremacists who control everything— the first thing they'd probably do is stop you from pointing this out. Drop the mic on their okay. fucking head. Like this is a pretty good indication. So if you want to know, do you, do 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 I live in a in a in a white supremacist violent state? Well, can you stand anywhere? Can you go <laughs> anywhere and just say this is a violent white supremacist state and nothing happens to you? Oh no, no, sorry, it's not nothing happens to you. You can go anywhere and say that and you'll be applauded. Well, if that's the case, then you don't live in a white supremacy. Go viral, get clout, make money. (laughs) Because non-white people can say and do whatever they want. And they can condemn white people all they want without any repercussions whatsoever, unless as repercussions you count, again, applause. It's not exactly... Which can't be said for white people in most cases. They definitely cannot be out here saying black people are black supremacists or Asian people are Asian supremacists or anything like that. <laughs> I think that would be considered hate speech, which is illegal. I don't know. It's fucking, It's borderline hate speech if it's not hate speech. Exactly what you'd expect a white supremacist dystopia to operate. That's not how you expect it to operate. Like if you didn't know anything about this country, if you, you're crawling out of a cave... And someone told you, oh, you know, uh, I got some bad news for you. You know, you crawled out of a cave into a white supremacist state. You, 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 just so you know, you live in a, in a systemically racist white supremacist state. When you hear that and you don't know anything, you, it, immediately your mind is going to conjure all kinds of images and you're going to make all kinds of assumptions about Lynchings, what sort of country hangings, this is. And then you're going to get murder, out into the world and you're going to find that, wow, it's not anything like that at all. In fact, wow, there's like, there's, there's non-white people all over the place go, go running around talking about how much they hate white people. And then there are other groups of people, there are white people following behind them applauding. <laughs> yeah, same. Well, that's white not the people. kind of white supremacist state I was expecting. <laughs> so I do have to admit, the, the guy at the end was on to something. He asked whether non-whites make the same amount of money as whites. And the answer is no, they don't. That's true. Um, Because most of the people in that room, in fact, belong to ethnicities that make more more money than white people on average. Why? Many Asian immigrants come to this country and quickly find themselves in a higher income bracket than the average white family. The median household income for Asians in general is $100,000. For white households, it's $77,000. I mean, but that's because their parents and stuff really pushed this whole be a doctor, be in a professional career field that pays well. Ain't that, that's why though, right? And plus, I mean, they are technically smarter, right? Like statistically, which is a stereotype now, which is crazy as fuck how they turned even good stereotypes into racism. This remains perhaps the most inconvenient truth of all inconvenient truths for the race hustlers. Because if America is a systemically racist country, systemically racist against non-whites, How could it possibly be the case that many non-white communities fare better than whites? In fact, Vince, always on the ball, makes this very point later in the discussion. Listen. Statistically, it is true that Asians, right, on average, make more money, like in terms of medium, make more money, better test scores, get into better colleges, all that stuff. I think the question is, why is that? And I don't know, the model minority, whatever that label wants That's to That's actually mean. a not, myth because not, we cannot be- um, Well, no, listen, well, let me finish my point. We need to observe what makes people successful and unsuccessful. And I think when you look at trends that are generally true in the Asian community, not of everyone, but are generally true, usually you have families that are sticking together. You have, um, you know, people, are taught to work hard in school, not get into trouble. I think that translates to why Asians on mass are successful. And I don't think you have to be Asian or white for that matter to not have kids out of wedlock, not, you know, commit crime, what? not not cause trouble, what is whatever happening? it is. It's just a matter of like, well, common sense, that's what makes people successful. And if that's so-called assimilation, having a nuclear family, buying a house, going to school, whatever it is, then yeah, okay, call me a pro-assimilation then. I think there's a difference between assimilation and erasure. Yes. 
What? What the fuck is erasure, bro? Why? Why in the fuck did all these words just start getting popular? Why? When the fuck did everyone just become become a fucking scholar? Erasure. I don't even know how to spell that. Eraser. <laughs> what did she say? Erasure. Yes. Erasure. Erasure. What is e? Erasure. How the fuck would you spell that? I. I yeah, I'm an idiot. If one of y'all know down below, please let me know. My time's getting long anyway, so I'm gonna end that video there. But yeah, please like the video if you got anything to say about the video, anything to say to me, any comments about the video, any videos that you might want to recommend for me to watch in the future, let me know down below. I'll read every single comment. Unless it's on an old video, I don't know how to filter to get the newest comments first. So if you're replying to a comment, then I'm probably not going to see that comment for some reason. But like I said, please like, comment, and if you can, will you please subscribe to your boy? With that being said, deuces! Oh, yeah. Your eyes and you've been praying on my down